It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to be covering the Tower of Sweet Chaos. And specifically, we're going to be covering tray 135. I'll be going over other trays in the near future, but this is one that I've seen a lot of people have been struggling with. And it's mostly due to the high power level of the tray itself, and the boss, and, well, actually even the enemies are pretty tough at the lower levels. And so I wanted to cover this uh, tray specifically. Now, my personal favorite team is the one that you see in front of you. So it's Sea Fairy, Caramel Arrow, Dark Cacao, Eclair, and Parfait. Now, who I used to run before I did not have this team, so I will not use any of those cookies except uh, Sea Fairy and Parfait, because some of those cookies did not used to exist a couple seasons ago. So who I used to run instead was Sorbet. Oh, wrong one. Where's my other supports? Cotton. Not pomegranate. It was I'm trying to find it. There he is mint <clears throat> so the reason I used to do it like this was because there was a lot of uh, power behind this team and I actually used to run it like this this is bringing me back I'm sorry okay so this is what I used to run so this is my new favorite current team and I'll explain why but this is what I used to run and this might be a good team for you guys as you might not have an ancient you might not have a legendary you could swap Sea Fairy out for um, any other high DPS unit, maybe Twizzly. Uh, maybe you want to use um, Cream Puff if you have Cream Puff. You can use Pastry. Uh, you can do Pumpkin Pie. Those are some good ones. You just can't do healing and you can't do defensive. Now, technically, we're bypassing that because we have healing on three of our supports here. And on this team, we have healing on one of our supports, but we have shields on another. So we kind of get around that little problem. But the main thing is, with the old team, I put a lot of emphasis on out-healing and out-defending the damage that was coming from the enemies. As the enemies that you see here, they deal a lot of damage, the grunts and the shamans, to the mid-row. So your mid-row is going to get hurt the most. And the boss, he just... He has some pretty powerful attacks. I mean, he's got the Demonic Claws, he's got the Stomps, he's got the Howls. So, he has a lot of good things to send at your team that's going to pose a lot of problems. You can see he has 3.0 million health. He's got over 129,000 defense, so that's going to be important too. You might want to use Dark Cacao if you can. Not... Um, Sorry, not Dark Cacao. Dark Chocolate. I get them mixed up now. Dark Chocolate, if you can, for the defense reduction. If you don't have Dark Chocolate and you're really early in the game and you want to do it, use Princess Cookie. Princess Cookie still acts similar to Dark Chocolate, just at a lower rate. So, that would be one way you can lower the defense of the boss as well. You just want to make sure they have damage resistance so they can survive. Uh, one other thing I do want to cover is that the toppings for them... <laughs> They're going to be your standard toppings um, of cooldown and uh, solid almonds for defense if you're using them. I personally have uh, critical apple jellies on certain cookies of mine just because I have so many labs upgraded and so many bonds that I can out damage the waves. So I don't have to follow the topping rules, but I would highly suggest for players that do not have all of those upgrades or if you're newer that you have those damage resist stats on, that you have the almonds to protect yourself, that you have searing to do good damage if you don't have critical labs upgraded. Those are all going to be super important. The treasures, you want scroll regardless. You want to do all that extra damage as you can, whether it be extra healing, extra power, all the way. The clock and the watch are pretty good if you have the max because you can lower that cooldown, you can get extra defensive power. And if you're running this main team here, that speed is really going to be mostly for Cacao and Caramel Arrow. They're going to be really the ones benefiting the most from this. So, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like, and I'll slow the battle down. 
And so, as you can see, the grunts here, they already do really good damage. Like, they're not playing around. They can they can hurt that mid-road team very quickly. Um, and that's why you need that damage resistance, because if you don't have it at the lower levels, you probably will get one shot by those grunts. Same kind of goes for the cake servers here, the cakeabers. As you can see, even with the high level um, damage resistance and bonds that I've personally unlocked, I'm still taking pretty substantial damage here. So therefore, I have to uh, out damage him in time and speed versus me taking out uh, my entire health, which most of it is parfait healing, and I can show you the stats here. So Caramel Arrow, Dark Cacao, Eclair, Sea Fairy, all doing amazing damage. Healing done, almost a million from Parfait. Damage received, a little less than 300,000 between the three of them, but they do have some good stats of defense on them, just from the landmarks and the cookie bonds that I have. So that's really the biggest reason they didn't take as much damage and why they survived a little bit longer. So I would highly suggest if you're going to attempt these higher level trades that you get that put together with one of those two teams in high damage resistance or a really high healing from your support characters so that you can out heal the damage but you're still going to need enough damage resistance to survive long enough otherwise you can't heal someone that's already you know fainted <laughs> if that makes sense uh, so let me know in the comments if you have any opinions or if you have anything extra to add i'd love all the feedback it always helps and thank you so much for stopping by have a good night